All right, we're here. <laughs> Episode 20. All right, so we start to crack the cake. Do, we we have a drink do you down want there. the surfside? You sure. don't have to. Sure, of course. Okay, we can at least crack it. If you don't want I don't it, I will drink it. <laughs> no, no, no. I will, I will definitely. I'm on my take drinking one day a week era, so okay, tonight's not my drinking okay. day. Look, oh, we're so, going strong. This uh, is just. um. Mango, oh, lime, sparkling oh, okay. water from okay. Lightning. I thought it was. I thought you just had a special drink. I was like, no, I'm not special. All right, ready? three, <laughs> two, two, one. Woo! Sorry, I'm okay, a little delayed. Delayed. We're all, like we're all cheers. 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 We all cheers. did it at the same time. Love that for us. So episode 20, good. Let me spill all over myself. Mm, um, episode yeah. 20, guys, we made it to 20. Yeah. This is exciting. Mm-hmm. Not that I thought huge. we wouldn't. Yeah, that's That's huge. a really big deal, but though. But it's 20 a milestone. Is, 20 is a commitment. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's when usually people would give up. Mm-hmm. But we are not giving up. We are here to stay. You can't get rid of us that easily. So <laughs> we are episode 20. This is Mary Kate. Jade. And we have a special guest. I'm Bryn. This is Bryn. <laughs> I'm gonna This is Bryn. Bryn is incredible and we'll get into you. her story a little bit <laughs> later but quick background on you how do we know you okay so i first met you i had to go back in my brain and think about like how we even met for the right. first time right you guys were at my first grand opening correct because you knew alex correct and that's yep. my girl that's like pretty much my sister so mm-hmm. I think from there, like, I just, I think I followed you guys yep. that day, and then I was thinking about buying a house. I, well, I wasn't even, like, necessarily thinking about it. I was just messing with the idea in my head, mm-hmm. and one of my clients, I think is, like, I don't remember if she's, like, Vince's cousin or Vince's family friend, but she also recommended you yep. guys, and yep. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, there's my second validation mm-hmm. that I needed, yep. Yep. so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reach out. I reached out. Yeah, you reached out to him. Yeah, I reached out to Vince, yep. and then we got connected on the commercial side yep. as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So Vince had my residential side for the moment, yep. and then you had my commercial, yep. and we've done a few things it's ever amazing. since. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, we're a big fan of yours. You're incredible in so many, so many, so many mm-hmm. ways, and we'll get into that later. But so are you guys. Brynn is a <laughs> double GG client, and we adore her. She's a business owner and multi-talented um and we're super excited to have her so thanks for coming thanks for having me and she also has her own podcast as well yes she helped us with this Kinda podcast gave, yeah it gave us that push the push that we needed yeah. yes like i had no idea the what balls. to order what yeah. to do mm-hmm. and she finally was like this is the list like order all this stuff and just do it and <laughs> i finally did it mm-hmm. i think i texted you like five times on the fifth time you're like do it mm-hmm. what are you waiting for mm-hmm. i know and it's hard it. to it's hard to jump so in, when, especially when it's your decision. That's mm-hmm. one of the hard parts of being in business is you're the one that has to make the decision. Yeah, and if you're at least even a little bit shy, something like this mm-hmm. is really really hard. Right. A lot of people think it's like super easy to get in front of a camera, but it's really intimidating, yeah. and I mm-hmm. still like shake and get nervous. So <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Yeah, so that's why we drink. That's why we drink for ours. Get loose. Get loose. I think I had a coffee on yours, but we do drink sometimes. Yeah, but yeah. coffee sometimes like <laughs> hype up. Yeah, I'm kind of like, we're all shaking now. Jittery, we shouldn't yeah. have done that. Yeah, so that's a quick background on Brynn, and we'll mm-hmm. get to more specifics later. Want to jump quickly into our team uh, local and pop tea. It's the tea on DE. That's what we call it. This is Love that we're at. That's our segment. So since we drink Surfside teas, um, so we spill the tea on DE. So, Waiting uh, on the sponsorship. Yeah, someday Close Surfside to is going to Like they right. message us Close all the time and they tease us. They'll be like, yeah, we'll think about it. And then they never come Maybe we can collaborate in the future. Maybe right. we'll send you a sticker. Yeah. Right. We're like, we'll yeah, take the sticker. sticker. Like everything. I mean, yeah. I would love one. But right. 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 <laughs> We're like, whatever. So someday we'll get them. So the first one is the team tea. It's a quick one. Coffee Connections is coming up on Monday. We have a sponsor. Corey Johnson, maybe mm-hmm. Brent will come to one someday. Yeah, of course. Have when you is seen, this one? When have is you seen one? our coffee Monday connections? Monday morning. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so basically. Monday morning, what? Just, first, it's like 8 to 10. Out. 8 to 10, it's at Karma. Okay. And basically, if you come, I, I'm you're, able to come next if you come Monday. and you're with us, our sponsor just like opens a tab. So okay, you get a coffee, okay. sandwich, sandwich, whatever you want. Nice. Yeah. And that's all it is. You can come. You can nice. literally, I say this on every podcast, you can show up, get your sandwich, and leave. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not going to, obviously, but you I'm can not going to do that. But you can hang out Wait, with that babies. is so cool. I love that you guys yeah. do that. It's, it's just so a fun. quick way to start your month. As soon as we finish, I'm going to look at my calendar, okay, and I'm either going to be there the this, this Monday or the next Monday. <laughs> yeah. I will it's be the there. first Monday of every month. Okay. Okay. I love that. That's easy to remember. It's a good reset. Like, hug you up. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love Cafe It forces me out of bed on a Monday and, like, to 
put makeup on my face and like get a gown. So yeah, yeah that. that's the team tea. Our local tea is um, we are hyping up this happy this hour cool. at the tower, and I love how it like <laughs> rhymes. Um, it's basically I think it's like the Highlands. It's like the whole group of people in this area, they light up Rockford Tower. This is, mm -hmm. I think, the second year they're doing it. Um, they basically like restore the tower and they do like similar to like how a Times Square would do like lighting of the Christmas mm -hmm. tree. It's the lighting of Rockford Tower. Oh, yeah. So it's like pretty. a happy hour. There's gonna be music, food trucks, all that kind of stuff on November fourth, and it's ten bucks for adults. Kids are free, so um, should be a good price. Event. That's good. That's a great yeah, it should price. be a night out. Yeah. Vince yeah. says we're going. I. We'll see how the babies are. <laughs> babies um, are pending. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we'll probably be there. It'll be a fun, a fun little event. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think? Would you go to something like that? Hundred percent. Yeah. It'll yeah. Be cute. Yeah, I would. Super cute. The food trucks, drinks, and everywhere just to be outside and see all the lights while it's still yeah. fall. And yeah. what a yeah, still nice, perfect like, time of year. Let's yeah, get out for those outside totally events go. before it's freezing and exactly. we hibernate for, I know. for six months. Mm -hmm. I love that sad. you guys do this because a lot of the times it's really hard to know like what's going yeah. on. You have no idea. And you see it after the fact, and you're like, I like. Oh, that's yeah. cute. I wish I, I knew about yep. that. Yep. Yeah, and this year, they're, like I think in the past, it's just been mostly i mean it's like the highlands so it's mostly like old people that live out there yeah. um but they're trying to really like draw on our demographic yeah, yeah. um the so, nice area yeah, yeah. exactly because we are the future yeah um so yeah so we'll be there it'll be exactly. fine exactly <laughs> yeah yeah and pets are free too i forgot to mention <laughs> oh, <laughs> to bring your pops. pops love yeah, so bring your switch pops. up your saturday night plans okay yeah. and then for the so pop cute. tea i'm curious what Brent th thinks of this one okay so i I love to stalk like all the celebs and all this stuff. Like Halloween weekend just happened. Halloween's not till tomorrow, but Halloween mm -hmm. weekend just happened. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you guys look at this stuff or is it just me? I, I mean, I I see what's like on TikTok yeah, and Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Do you? I'm out of the loop with celebrities. Oh my god! Like, I saw the Haley Bieber, Justin Bieber. All costume, people dressed up as yeah. one thousand times and on my Instagram. Jason Kelsey, yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah. I see that yeah. Much, but oh my god! I saw even everyone the more did that. I saw I saw the Jason or the Travis Kelsey one as little babies. Yeah, yeah, the the babies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I saw the Bieber one as babies kids. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I but saw so many people as trending Bieber. Like oh, yeah. that year, there's yes. always like the trending oh, yeah. costumes. Have you seen, did you see any funny costumes this weekend? Celebrity or not? Like who won Halloween? Do we have any thoughts yet? Dude, I'm trying to I think what one. I've seen. You gotta like name. I blank on the spot. I'm gonna shout. It was um, my friend Nina Boxner. She's actually a lender. Yeah. Um, but she was the skeleton from SpongeBob, which says we're oh, selling yeah, chocolate. I saw that. I saw that. The little like it looked like a turd, and I was like, "What is that?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was really yeah, just about. a skull and her vertebrae. <laughs> That's so you know, weird. You know, I have to show you the picture. That's creative. I like creative. Same. I like creative costumes. She pimped it out. I'm pretty sure her man's or whoever was the grandma or the caretaker. Oh, nice. Whoever was in that. Oh, oh, that. Oh, so now I yeah. know. He's selling chocolate. And he's oh, like, yeah. what? He's selling chocolate. Put the picture right here. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that. that I love creative. I love creative. Cool. I would yeah. rather you go for like a funny, creative costume yeah. than like a hot right outfit. yeah i agree it's i don't really care about that anymore. Anymore. Yeah. yeah we've my, seen it a million times exactly times. my like best costume i ever did it was actually like a themed party oh. but i always say it's halloween because it was like halloween oh, week I love theme in college i was sean white so oh. basically for like a ski mask it was like somebody's chemistry goggles <laughs> yeah. and like a beanie and a flannel and i wore like a bunch of medals around my neck and like I swear to you, Vincent's gonna laugh at me. He's in the other room. I got hit on so much that night. Because <laughs> it was like a funny costume and it was like, you know, easy to approach someone as yeah. opposed um, to like, you up. know, a girl in the corner with a crop top and boobs yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. Like, I was like the funny girl at the party and actually, yeah, yeah. it worked like wonders. So I, I love recommend that. going for funny over that, that is, slutty. That's good. Wait, right let's there. say our best that's costumes because now that you said yeah, that, what's your best my costume? best one was, um, oh my gosh. and maybe this is like another like slutty one. Yeah. I was like, gumball machine. That's a cute one. I saw your memory. Oh, that might be a little basic, but I no, really haven't really seen it much. That's creative. I it was very seen, creative. I really Made it in the that. college dorms, me and my best friend right. Dominica, gumballs, and then I wore the skirt when I had the 25 cent picture right there. Yeah, perfect. I sent a picture to my dad, my dad was like, Cute. I don't like where that set right, right, is And that? I was like, ooh, like, right. I didn't Did think about like it like that. But it, that was probably my most oh, proudest costume. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. I could see that's that. You call. Like, that's I fine. I didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. Like, I don't that's like it. <laughs> yeah. Happy like, your price, babe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that was my favorite Did costume. Did you used to dress up in college? I was just about to say, I'm like such a loser. Never I was never it. like a big like costume. When I was little, when I, I was had some fire yeah. fits. My mom would always, you know, sew up yeah. something yes. custom. But yeah. so no, I'm such a loser. I never do. I'm like a Halloween, like stay in and watch like Halloween movies. Okay, that's so true. What's your best Halloween movie? Oh, Hocus Pocus. I'm yes. say, are you scary or traditional? I mean, I love scary. Yeah, I'm like okay. a big scary movie yeah, fan. Yeah. But 
I'm like Michael Myers' number one fan. Really? Yes. The Halloween no movie. What? Yes. Those are like so, you so like gory. OG. Like you like like the gore. I like literally like, like the first one because okay. like as they keep repeating, it just gets like okay, this is well, overrated. Some, like yeah. you gotta stick with the original movie, but the yeah. OG Halloween movie is my go-to. There's for some Halloween. like really nice aesthetic yes. moments from those movies too. Yes. Like the film, the films in those yeah. moments yeah. are yeah, really good. Well, well I'm looking at <laughs> All right, good. Well, well, um, but yeah, wait. What about you guys? Do you guys have a favorite Halloween movie? Mine's Halloween. I'm not like a Halloween girly. I don't know. I don't even. What other Halloween movies are there? Like all the Disney ones, like Twitches. See, I'm not Disney. Halloween Town. Really, no. I still watch Disney. I'll watch Disney until I'm like 65. I'm not no, shit on I don't it, watch but I didn't grow up watching it. So really? it's like I don't. Okay. Hocus that Pocus. Makes sense. Like never really seen it. Like. No, I'm, a, I'm like is, a put Phineas and Ferb on when I go oh, to sleep. Yeah. I'm like 25 yeah, years old and I still yeah. do that. No, I don't know really any Halloween movies. I'm not like super into Halloween. I don't know. There was a vampire movie growing up I really liked. Mm. Are you hitting that candy? Vampire- yeah, but nobody comes to my you're house. Kind yeah, of, you're I'm like on the outside yeah. of it where like I think people go down and they right. cut right in the Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Tough, tough, I'm going to have some just top just it case. just in case. Last yeah. year I got one, but this year I didn't even put out decorations because I have just so much going on. I yeah. was like, nobody's yeah, even coming that. anyway. No, stay cozy. I don't have kids. No. Oh. Stay cozy. You're oh, fine. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You're fine. I'm like, I don't have kids. Like, who cares? We do have kids. I would have no decorations if it wasn't for my father in law. He does it all for us. He's oh, that's out. cute. I would never have not time yeah. or patience. My but. dad was really upset that I didn't decorate. Yeah. He said, I'm being a loser. So <laughs> Next year. Next year. Next I did year. it in my office. That's good. That's, that's all that matters. Yeah. So you yeah. have your yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Business house. Priorities. And decorate the business yeah. house. Yeah. Priorities. One makes you money, one costs <laughs> yeah. you money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yes. So, let's get into our topic of the day. Oh, I'm so excited A.K.A. now. Our guest. Bum, bum, bum. Um, so, I'm going to quick give a quick background. I just basically pulled this from your website, so don't judge me, but um, so Brynn is the owner of DeCourcy Beauty Lounge, which is a beauty business that opened in 2019 in hopes of giving the community a safe and inviting space to receive top quality business beauty, not business, beauty treatments. Top. Brynn also has expanded DeCourcy further into launching its own brand of cosmetics and professional beauty products as DeCourcy Beauty. And you have multiple Instagrams, and we're going to talk about that later. Mm-hmm. Brynn has evolved her business over the past few years, starting as in-home lash artist in her small apartment uh, to a studio on PA Ave to now moving to an upgraded full service enthusiastic driven team of women who are all under wait I skipped a spot location <laughs> wait an in-home last lash location along with an amazing team of empowered as, as Statisticians. Mm-hmm. I wanted to say SC, like SD besties. You can just say SC. Yeah, SDs. <laughs> the business is fueled by an enthusiastic, driven team of women who are all under the age of 30, which we love so much because this whole team is also under the age of 30, mm-hmm. at least for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know ours might be 35. I, right. It's changing, exactly. but I don't I care. I don't care. But take, take the, way. yeah, take it. I always say like age is more of a mindset thing Correct. too. 100%. So like if I'm in a room, I'm not going to say, oh, I need to be in a room with the youngest people. Like you need to be young minded. Mm-hmm. You need to be in driven. Today's mm-hmm. time driven, driven down yeah. to do a TikTok, but down to do all that. Uh-huh. Open minded. Yeah, open minded. Yeah. I love old old people that are open minded are my yes. favorite yes. people ever. Yes. I would rather hang out with them. Right. Yeah, okay. for sure. Alright, so tell us, give us the decorsi hu- like history. Mm-hmm. I just kinda give like the very, very, very tiny brief. Um like, I know you started like in your college apartment. Yeah. <clears throat> like give us kind of, you know, how you came to be where you are now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I started in Newark when I was at University of Delaware. Mm-hmm. I was probably like 18, turning 19, like right at the end of when I was 18. And I was just super bored. I had no job yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Like right. I only ever worked at my, my dad had always had like a veterinary office. He's right. a veterinarian. So I would like work there, receptionist and stuff, but never had like a job job Mm -hmm. so I was super bored I felt really unfulfilled I had a lot of creative energy that was going absolutely nowhere other than like I like to paint and do like some artistic things but I was like just I was so bored what was your major um I switched a couple times it was first it was psychology which I always wanted to do my whole life I wanted to be a psychiatrist and then I realized I would have to go to medical school if I wanted to pursue opening <laughs> yeah. my own practice. Right. So I was like, absolutely Smell not. I hate school, especially my first year of college. I was like miserable. No, this sucks. Right. So then I did. I think I switched to marketing because I was like, that's a general enough right Hell business. Yeah. Like yeah. as long as I graduate with some sort of business, marketing, communications, yep. whatever. And then I was in the business classes, and I was like, oh my god, this sucks. They're not <laughs> teaching me too. anything that I couldn't I learn I myself. Like sucks. Yeah. I'm, I'm such a computer person. Like I 
research. I'm always on my computer. So I was like, literally all of this I could find. Exactly. In, Why in am I paying one for this? business school right. that yeah. I'm sitting here. Like, and I was in the business school and I would always say like, I'm being taught business by people that have never worked in the real world. Yeah. Yeah. They're just teachers. Me off. I'm like, like, do you have a been business? Reading the same the office yeah. environment. And I'm like, you've never even worked in an yeah, office. Like you don't even know. You, you just, just graduated know with a business degree. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like, come on. Yeah. So that... I was just like, no. And then I started doing lashes on the side. I really just wanted, like, I was always the girl that was, like, doing people's makeup in school, yeah, like, right. doing people's prom makeup. You were my Never best charging. friend. Yeah. You were my best yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always, like, that one girl yeah. that's, like, doing everyone's makeup. Yeah. yeah. And just for free, like, because yeah. I wanted to. Yeah. And um, my mom, when I was growing up, would be like, oh, you should you know, get into beauty, you should do hair, you should do whatever, because I was, I was like a little girl, like, giving services over my bedroom door, like, yes. to my grandparents and whatever, Aww. so she was always telling me that, and I just was always, this sounds so bad saying it, but at the time, especially with the dynamic of, like, estheticians and cosmetologists at the time they weren't like making that much money right. and I was like I don't want to set myself up where I'm right. capped at in a career where I'm like busting, how much busting my mm -hmm. ass basically right. doing mm -hmm. cutting cutting hair every day and like not profiting right. or yeah. whatever right. so that was when like lashes were even popular I was Just getting lashes started, right. Right. I was like really early I was getting lashes in high school which is like that's so early crazy yeah. like I was like a sophomore junior yeah and it was back when like it was like the most basic you could only get like classic really simple whatever right. and I was the client so then I was like all right um clearly I know what right. it, I know this how the service goes I know mm -hmm. what the you know flow of it or whatever and I was like I think I would like this I get to sit with girls I get to talk to them yeah. right psychology so or, I yes. literally get to be a therapist without the license right. 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 <laughs> and That's then so tell true. them sorry I can't really prescribe you anything right. but I can be an open ear <laughs> you can ear. come back yeah but you can come back next month we'll see you in six weeks. <laughs> yeah um so yeah then I just started doing lashes I really just thought it was like a side hustle I was still in class gonna mm -hmm. get my degree and then I became so booked, honestly, so quick. It was such a rare thing because of the fact that I was in college and I knew a lot of people. I was in right. my hometown college mm -hmm. state, so it's like I already knew so many people that went there. That's amazing. I was friends with, like, a few of the, like, sorority, like, the one sorority president, the whatever. I was like, all right. So you're in. It was like... You're in. Mm -hmm. It was like a couple weeks that right. I had, like... It was just easy. Clients, yeah. It was just easy. So then I was like, oh, wow, I'm making so much money. I can make, like... At the time, I was like, oh, I can make, like, $600 in one day. Like, that's crazy. I'm not going to get that in any other job. Mm -hmm. Right. So then I kept doing it. I transitioned to online classes because I was like, all right, I'm just going to put crank it out. Then I just got so busy that I was like, all right, I'm dropping over out. It. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, not, not going to get a degree. That's what most successful business people do. Yeah. So. They, well, yeah, I tried. Yeah, 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 I tried. Like, I hope I never regret it one day. You but won't. You because won't. look at what you, yeah. No, you yeah. wouldn't be as graduated. far as you are today. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then there was that. Then I moved home because my lease was up in my apartment. And you don't home. go there anymore, so. Mm -mm, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then I moved home. My parents are in like Hocassin. So I moved back with them for like intentionally the summer. And then COVID happened. It was like two years. Mm -hmm. But um, I was like doing it for like maybe like three weeks out of their house and I was like this is so weird I can't like, do this four dogs right. like my yeah. family home like mm -hmm. it was just super weird so then actually Kelly at Avenue Cuts love her right across the street mm -hmm. yeah she my mom was talking to her they like saw each other randomly and she was like my mom was just explaining to her what what I was doing and she was like I'm actually closed on Mondays if you want you can bring your table <clears throat> set it up and basically use it in the Mondays, I'll give you my key or whatever, and then you can use the space. So then I got the taste of, like, what it was right, like to, to have, have, like, my own, own space. I was right. like, ooh, this is nice. Right. Um, and you're such a good desk, like, a good location, yeah, like, yeah. easy to find. Yeah, 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 it was so amazing. Yeah. I'm so thankful for her for doing that. And um, then I was here, and I loved this area, and I was like, okay. Um, I wasn't necessarily looking at the time. I was happy being with Kelly, but I was like, let me see if there's grow. any options out mm -hmm, there. Yeah. And then my boyfriend found the property that I moved into in 1401. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was an insane deal. We thought it was like a typo. <laughs> it was like actually insane. They bought that, right? Yeah, yeah I bought yeah, it. You love, it was yeah. so cheap. Like, <clears throat> right. so cheap. And it needed to be fully gutted mm -hmm. and redone. But it was about... I think it was like maybe 800 something square feet like yeah. it was not that big but it right. was like good it had it got three the rooms job done. it got the job done yeah I was there for about uh, maybe two years mm -hmm. two and a half years 
then found the space now. Well, the reason I moved out of there was because I felt like I was outgrowing it. Yeah, I wanted yeah, more did. employees. You grew I was out like, so quick, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I need You brought the nails new. in. You brought so yeah. many more yes. things yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, and I just wanted like a team. Like, yeah. and I wanted everyone to feel like settled. So then I was looking with you guys yep. at different properties. I looked at one on Delaware Ave, like up at the beginning of Delaware Ave. Yep. And I loved that one. And I was really, really like, my heart was kind of set on it. And then it was like the day before we went to tour it and the owner or whoever was like the leasing person for it was like, oh, it's actually the top floor that's available, not the mm, bottom floor. And I was right. like, well, I'm not moving from one space yeah. that's in clothes right. to now being in another, another. Right. enclosed space like mm -hmm. i want a storefront right mm -hmm. so then yeah, you were ready to see your name on a sign mm -hmm. yeah because fortunate when you didn't have that signage you didn't have that like walk yes. by ability yet. yeah not at all i had like zero yeah you had to like know where you were going right mm -hmm. so then um I forget how I found that. I found that like surfing the web, the space that I'm yeah. in now. And then yeah, I saw you I were the leasing agent and I was like, what? I'm like, oh my God, I'm texting her I right know. now. I, you, I didn't know, like we didn't think that you would consider Be downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 just a different vibe. Like it's definitely a different vibe down there yeah. from here. Yeah, I had to think about it. Like right. I definitely, right. you know, had to like right. Wait, think so pros and where cons. would I rather be, whatever, but. Mm -hmm. I but that there. area you saw the vision. vision now is yeah. just oh, yeah. another building. The it's so much behind day. you. It's Did you see, yeah, obviously you guys saw that. We were at the, the ribbon of yeah. we It's there. gonna that area is about to blow up. Crazy, yes. like blow crazy. up. Crazy. All the ones yeah. like right um in front of me on ninth street yep. those all just like are closed out for them to renovate yep. like it's That's awesome amazing. it's gonna be really nice yeah we're, we're like i feel like we were like one year ahead yes we're like, you guys, yeah. it's on the come right. up it is and <laughs> you like now you're gonna live in vision. a little bit of a construction zone for a little oh bit oh my god yeah but it's killing like, me but it's fine a year down the road it's yeah. gonna be so worth it yeah and i'm okay if i know there's like a better outcome i'm right. like yes. all right i'll deal with the construction yes. yeah you know it'll be worth it it'll be worth it growing pains for real but yeah now i'm now there and you're killing and, it. Yeah, we're, so we're where here. So where did your corsi come from? Like, mm. What does that mean? Um, that is my mom's maiden name. Like, her family's maiden name. Cool. Side, yeah. That's beautiful. So it's a long history yeah. family name. So you just have always loved it. Warm. And... <laughs> Yeah, so like when did you need, like at what point were you like, okay, I'm going with this name? Like, is that when you opened 1401? Like, were you using that name before? Yeah, I actually created that name. I actually used to hate my middle, it's my middle name too. Oh, I forgot to middle say name. That. Wow. That's like the cool. most important part. Okay. I completely so, yeah. forgot to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so my middle name. Right. Yes. Yeah, so okay. BDG. So BDG. I love that. So I um I used to hate it because when I was little, some kid, some little kid at my yeah. school told me that it sounded like a stripper name. <laughs> and I guess I took that really to heart. Yeah, like, you yeah, know when yeah. a kid says something to you, it could be something oh, so little, you. but yeah. you, you for 20 yeah, years later, yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we all can relate. Oh, yes. um, for some reason, I just hated it. And then I would lie. And my mom was the monogram mom who had my monograms on everything. everything. What's like, your yeah. real name? Yeah. 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 What's Everyone the would be like, what's for? the D stand for? Yeah. What's the middle name? And I'd be like, I would start lying. Like I would make up random names. Yeah, yeah, and then when I got, it was when I was in college, it was right before I was about to start extensions. My mm -hmm. extensions was just like Lash by BG or something yeah. basic like that. Yeah. And then I was creating the Decoise Beauty products and I was like, oh, I need like a separate name. But I was like, why don't I umbrella it so that right. that way I have like one brand. core right. yes. brand and then like the other like subset. Smart. Um, so that now I have room to grow under the Decoise right. Beauty anyways. Yes. Like I always knew I wanted to right. go different lanes with it. So. Right. Um, I was just thinking of names and everything just sounded like so cliche and corny. It was always like, you know, you know, just like salon names. A lot yeah. of them sound the same. Like they're just yeah. like pretty right. names, right. whatever, mm -hmm. um, which love that. But I just wanted something personal this to me. This was so original. Like no yeah, one's going to no no one one copy right. that exactly. or come up with that exactly. or like, yeah. So yeah, I just, um, and the we were like, it. like yeah, the yeah. Story. we were like driving in the car. I remember the moment when my boyfriend was like, oh, you should use your middle name. It's so pretty. Like, it's like, it sounds like French. It's like very pretty. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, that does sound kind of good, but yeah. it had to grow on it's me. It's very elegant. Like, like it's yeah. Thank you. And thank warm. you. Yeah. It had to grow on me. You know, right. I always tell people when they're starting a business, like you have to say the name a hundred times before Same it feels thing with right. Same baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're like, I have to say it a hundred times. It yeah. just feels weird. Like, yeah. you're like, oh. Or right. the same thing when you say, when I'm typing Instagram captions, yeah. if I Don't focus on it too much, I'm like, oh, is this yes. word real right. at this point? Right. Yes. Like, I right. sometimes oh it's like a second check because right. I'm yes. looking at it too right. hard. Right. Like, yeah, but whatever. But now, like, now I'm so obsessed. glad I did it. I will right. never change it. I have so many ideas, Better like, branching out with it. That's amazing. Yeah. And so, so now you have this, you like fast forward you're in your space or you're starting to move mm -hmm. into your space you definitely have like a very distinct like vibe that your business has put out like 
your logo and your space and your merch and your everything like mm -hmm. how have you kind of like crafted that like how that doesn't just come out of everything nowhere. from like the arches right here like just like Every um, piece of furniture, yes. every little book on the coffee table, yes. like the every colors. single thing is then selected. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Come this over to my house when you leave here. Okay. <laughs> Gladly. It's very, um, it's like a personality trait for sure. Like I'm very like particular. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what I want. Like yeah. I know, I know what I don't want. So it mm. helps me narrow down what I do yeah. want. Yeah. So I'm just very, I like aesthetics a lot. I yes. like like symmetry and balance and the way things look are like very important to me, the way they're like laid out. I didn't actually realize until I moved into this space that like not everyone thinks like that. Like I no. thought everyone just like I can't even like, pick that out if I wanted it. Right. Right. Like See, I can't that, go like, to Marshalls and go, this table would I look good I believe you could. Flat. Like I'm the person I'm like, no, you could. Oh, like, I believe in myself. So I guess could. if I went you there could. with a good attitude, yeah. I could. But, like, and a good budget. Yeah, a good budget. Yeah. <laughs> I have my mom's credit card. Yeah, so. but that plays into it too. The only yeah. reason with the space that I'm in now was I was able to sell my old right. property for a huge you had profit. A good budget. Yeah. So I had a really nice budget to right. work with. So I was like, okay. I've been in the space before where I didn't have money. And you had to grow from three things before you got here. Yeah, right. so, I so had you some knew, experience yeah, or whatever. And yeah, and then I was like, I'm, I've been in the experience of like buying the cheaper item <laughs> for the, my old space That's and me. then having Breaks to replace it like yeah. 10 times. And I'm like, okay, I've learned from that. Now I'm right. going to invest in the best right. stuff, like the best. I spent so much right. money and so much time yes. right like paying attention sure. to all of that yeah, yeah. So smart it, yeah. it shows but i just i don't know i'm a super organized person i have like list after list after list yeah. i draw everything i have vision boards for everything like oh, i'm a very I visual it takes That's a lot you. of effort yes. for sure but um, yeah. i love it it's it's nice and the it's curves actually admirable. thank yeah. you yeah. the curves actually came from like just like I like the visual aspect of like curved furniture. It just yeah. feels like softer. That, like uh, it's less like harsh. crazy and it's yeah. like exactly crazy in a great way. Like I yeah, love it. I'm yeah. attracted to it's it. It's like, yeah. ooh, like you just want to look at everything. It flows. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't so know. true. I took, I definitely took inspiration though, oh, on a lot of this I remember stuff. you brought like your vision board to the meeting. Like you had the, trifold like poster board oh i yeah. felt so corny doing that it was like we glitter all glue so helpful. Bubble stick, i have one too no, yeah. so helpful i was though. like oh my god i'm walking into this like yeah. with all these like men yeah. i'm like <laughs> they loved my it, board. They, loved it. Yeah. they were like oh i wish more people did this because <laughs> yes. otherwise i love that that no, makes it was me happy awesome. yeah, yeah. i was like so i was so embarrassed walking up with my little board no, no. it was amazing oh my god i'm a big vision board i just wish i was more organized like i can picture out of this and there you go yeah no i wish i was no, she's amazing. Aesthetic, yeah. So, <laughs> tell us a little bit about like your brand. So you have, so you have Decorsi Beauty is like your overarching, right? And mm -hmm. then, so you have like the deep, like the lounge. You have your cosmetics. Now you have a podcast, and like that's ever evolving. Like, how do you like your brand is so important to everything? Like, how has that been? Like, kind of curating all of that? Like, you know. <laughs> Good and, and you can say yeah. like you have no all idea. And I think that's all with no. your TikTok school. Right. Oh, so thank I, you. No, thank you. So. Thank you. I'm, my goal was to cater to people that no, on nothing. both no okay. on both ends, people that yeah. are beginners and right. learning and yes. like not a lot of experience in like Me. skincare, and then for also for estheticians that are trying to advance their knowledge right. and being able to like talk articulate, to their articulate. Right. Exactly. Being able to articulate is the perfect word because yeah. in school you just conceptualize but mm -hmm. you're not taught how to articulate you're not how, taught we have how no to idea. put it into right yeah yeah so yeah but um uh how do i do it <laughs> um, <laughs> right like I'm i get over on like we have trolley trends we have garment group uh -huh. i have my own page mm -hmm. like some people i help with their pages like it's overwhelming it is it's a lot it's even straight is. which one does which mm -hmm. posts and yeah yeah it's definitely overwhelming but I think a big thing is being organized. You right. gotta be organized. I'm an agenda girl, I'm a list girl. I filter stuff out when I'm done with it. I, right. I clear my phone up all the time. Like you you have to be an organized person if you wanna True. wear many hats, right. you have to do it. And I often get like insecure that I'm like, I was like, I don't want anyone to think I'm spreading myself too thin right. because I'm working on so many different things. Right. And you're I think, working on another business right now. Yeah. It's right. a family business. <laughs> right. So not as much on me. Yes. But, but still um, not on you. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I'm running the social media. Which is I'm doing the yeah. merch buy or the retail buying. Yeah. Um, interior design. So mm -hmm. I'm also working on an interior design project for right. my she friend that's so opening casual. a salon right now. She's so casual. Like, yeah. Oh, it's not that big a deal. Like, <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. But I think you just have to be organized. Like you have to know how to allocate 
allocate your time right. and be like, okay, you know, because a lot of my time is spent with clients. Yes. Right. 90% of my like working day hours, not 90, that's an overshot, but yeah. right. a lot of the day and I'm back to back with them. So I'm not breaking in between. I'm just dealing with that client. Right present with them and then when I get home I'm going eating something really quick and getting right on my laptop and doing right. all the things for the business for the other aspects mm -hmm. that you know I have to do and I don't really have a social life to be honest yeah, by choice get I'm a very introverted person right. mm -hmm. but that gives me that weekend right. to yeah. then so just get all my stuff done that I have to do plug in and just yeah. get it done and right. I know I'm not going to be able to do this forever so I'm like right. let me hustle yes. now I have, so don't have true. kids yet. set yourself I'm, all up yeah I'm like let me do it all now and work 24-7 so and then in five years right. dial it Sit back, back a little chill. bit yeah right i wouldn't take you as such an introverted person because i came down a facial so from you yeah and like i didn't know you I just knew you from mary kane i'm like where's that t-shirt all right i'll go get a facial like <laughs> went right in and like we had a great conversation and talked the mm -hmm. whole hour and a half yeah and, like yeah uh, and she's got to charge her batteries. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to yes, charge your yeah. batteries at home. Yeah, yes, that's exactly. Yeah, that I got to recharge. Um, yeah, I also just like I was super social like when I was younger in yeah. high school, and like I was always like out with my friends and whatever. So I'm like, I kind of, I don't know, I had like a young. Um, <laughs> he can't help himself. I had a young, um, like, start to, That's like, good. having That's fun good. and whatever. That's so I'm like, all right. Yeah. You're and been I there, still know that. how to, like, when I go on vacation, I have fun. Yes. Like, I still know how to balance it, but I don't really find enjoyment out of, like, the bar the everyday Tuesday night life. Bar yeah, yeah. It doesn't do anything for That's me. why I'm at now. Like, yeah. I've like, been there, done that. Yeah. I'm yeah. good. I have, like, diagnosed social anxiety. Like, I'm really, yes. like, an anxious the person. The older we but get. I feel like that comes around mm -hmm. because yeah. I feel like I start to get some like you I start to get more picky. Mm -hmm. Like yes. your time is limited. Yeah. So yeah. Like, who do you want to be with? Who's gonna especially be there? in our industry and in her industry? Like we yeah. grind so hard when mm -hmm. we're on, we're on. So when we're off, it's like okay, I want to be more selective. Of, mm -hmm. Like who yes. I spend this time with. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes the who is nobody. That's true. And I feel like business gave me like the confidence that I needed. Like yes. before, like I didn't yes. really know what to talk about. Now I'm like okay, if I do go out, like I know that I have like all these things I could yeah. talk yes. about. That's not necessarily myself that right. I can. Yes. Just Distract with and you yeah. know what I mean like, and also I like something that like Vince and I have really found is like as business owners like we're not we're not guaranteed a paycheck there's no w2 there's nobody that's just every week mm -hmm. writing a check for us so like if you're you know oh you guys don't come out anymore oh you guys aren't so much fun anymore it's like if you're not striking that check for me once a week like mm -hmm. you just start to have a little bit more of like like you know i've got to do what's best for me yeah. like 100%. like you care less a little bit like yeah like you what is that doing for me exactly i say that yeah. all the time i'm like what would that do for me right. like i'm quick to turn something down because i'm like Same. i'm not gonna obviously i'm gonna support my friends when i need yeah, to support my friends exactly. but, but yeah. like i'm like okay i don't have a lot of energy to give and exactly. i'm not gonna stretch myself and then be like right regret it Monday morning. and then run myself right. dry when i need to go do my exactly. business and make content you fill your, that. vincent's new thing is like filling fill to fill your cup like yeah if i'm like if i'm especially with the kids like if i'm starting to get empty he's like all right mom's gonna go out for the day yeah, yeah exactly. yep. she's, gotta, yeah, exactly. she's gotta like recharge her batteries mm -hmm. yeah you gotta have boundaries with yourself though yeah that's it's so true very, very important good yeah, yeah. Hard been, important. what would you say has been like of all like this is super general but of being a business owner like what's been the hardest part um, the hardest part is literally being a business owner. Right. Like everything, <laughs> everything, Good everything answer. is hard. Yeah, <laughs> like everything. I mean, I'll expand on that. No, that's, it's um, true though. It's, it's the, the answer, yeah, yeah it's the hardest part because it's all on you and that's also like the best part in mm -hmm. my opinion mm -hmm. that it's all on me because I am a I like contr control yeah. yeah um which is why I'm so detail oriented and that works in my favor but I just feel like. It's really hard to be the one in control, but there's definitely immediate pros from that. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. It's, like, the hardest, but also the best thing. Yeah. Also, just, like, being consistent and some days, like, you don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. If it were up to me, things. yeah, if it were up to me, I wouldn't have the social media. I wouldn't right. really, like, right. exist in people's exactly. eyes. Exactly. It's hard, but that's but your life. my business, I'm like, I have to. So, you almost, yeah. like have to force yourself even yeah, when you're yeah. not feeling like it yeah yeah um you have to hold yourself accountable which is really hard mm -hmm. right but it makes you a better person it does i'm i would be miserable in any other job same we, we say i we, say it every day vincent says that all the time mm -hmm. like we struggle too like sometimes he will just like go dark on social media like mm -hmm. we'll go two three four same. days same. and he won't put and i'm like yo like are you Where all right are you? Yeah. like <laughs> hey, hey like this is our job yeah. yeah and he's just like oh i'm just exhausted like i feel like i'm annoying and mm -hmm. it's like oh just yeah that feels too real too it's so yeah. And sometimes, like, you know, I struggle with, like, okay, we, did we put the kids up on social media too much this week? Mm, like, and, that's you know, another. that, like, mm -hmm. oh, that's, like, such a struggle. Um, but, like, ultimately, like, this is the life we chose. Yeah, like, and, like, I just gotta do it. Yeah. And this is our life. Like, 
both kids were sick this morning and like we took the whole took morning, the morning off, off and took them to the doctor. Yep. Like you'll be able to do As that. You, you'll yeah. move your clients or you'll whatever. Like when you when something personal pops up, like you just do it. Yeah. Like Take that's care. Yeah. that's the huge benefit. Yeah, and I wanna be able to when I have kids right. do the same thing. I wanna be able to be present right. and mm-hmm. have the relationship with them that right. I'm so doing everything. Yeah, that I want. So Yeah. Go I wouldn't have it any other yeah, way. Exactly. Honestly. I Grind would, it out now. I would be fighting the boss. If oh, I had yeah. a boss, yes. like I would be literally like arguing. I used with to that. get like anxiety before work all the time, or, like cry in my car. Yeah, and right. I can like very confidently say I have never not cried. cried. <laughs> yeah, I've cried yeah. over transactions, over other things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the exactly. business, but, but like, not I don't because of the job. Kids and no, 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 no. Like at no, the park, no. like places where I worked before, and it was just like. There's nothing wrong. I'm going to be completely yeah. okay, but it was just the thought of giving away eight hours. I'm going to go in there and stare at TikTok for five. I can do my job in one. <laughs> exactly. And I'm going to do right. someone else's job for three exactly. and a half hours. Exactly. So, true. so That's like, much I'm it. getting, it was horrible. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's just awesome for us, like, again, going back being young, that we just, like, found that out yeah. at our age. Yeah, exactly. Like, thank God you're not 35. Exactly. Finally leaving exactly. that narrative exactly. going, okay, maybe I'll start this business. Exactly. Right. No, you have the guts to do it then. Yeah. And, like, that's you know, very we true. Love whether you have to like, go on and We're on huge. about it. Yeah. On on. yeah, but I will say on the flip side, there is a very good distinction. Some people are amazing employees. Right. 100%. It's so like, true. Like, like, yeah. like, my mom is the first to tell you, like, she's a, the best employee. Like, she's, right. like, that person that, like, will forever want to be an employee because she knows that she doesn't want to do all the Correct. things that the boss does. Right. I feel like our generation is very, like, flighty on, like, everyone yes. wants to be a boss, a yes. boss babe, whatever. But it's, like, no. I want to also give the props to the employees yeah. because yeah. Yes. we couldn't do the things without the employees. Right. Correct. So 100%. You got to uh, you know yeah also know yourself and know like are Where these the fit. things that I yeah like yeah. know what you want out of yeah. your, based off your personality your experience right. whatever sometimes like and it's like I get envious like sometimes like when Vincent and I go to like we go on vacation for two weeks every year every year down the shore and like Vincent's on his phone answering emails and texts mm-hmm. the whole time we'll be on the beach we've had times where he's on his laptop on the beach like a psychopath and like I sometimes it. I look around and I look at his aunts, his mom, his dad, whoever, right? Everyone else on the beach with us. No one else is in the industry we're in. And they're all just totally off. Mm -hmm. Like they are off. No one's emailing them. No one's texting them. No one's calling them. And sometimes you look around and you're just like, how nice is that? Like, how nice is that? But how many people get to take two weeks vacation, Mm -hmm. right? So like, so it's like, they may have have had to work that whole year and not take any vacation in order to do that. You know, like that's a good perspective. Exactly. It's so tough. And then they look at us like we're psychos, Mm -hmm. right? Like, why are you, take, turn turn, turn your phone off, relax. And we're like, I need this paycheck. We don't care. We won't pay our bills. We won't be eating tonight. Exactly. (laughs) Like, like, right. It'll be a rough Christmas, guys. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's just like, it's a total perspective. It's a total, like, decision and it's not for everyone yeah but it is a, it is a beautiful thing if you have the right. willpower the determination right, mm-hmm. you know and you yeah. believe in yourself then go right, right ahead right that's probably number one is believing yourself yeah. all right so let's kind of pivot okay. to the home buyer world okay um so you weren't around when Bryn bought her house. No, I was not. No. But I, think I did you were drop right her pie off, though. I dropped her pie off last year. You did yes, drop so I've been pie. to your house. So <laughs> you bought your house. You were super... How old were you when you bought your house? Like 21? I think 21. Yeah, yeah think so, 21. so young. Like, mm-hmm. so young, which is so Amazing. much... You have so much to be proud of in so many ways, but I think we see all the time like home ownership is really tough and like going through the lending process and going through just everything is like a lot for anyone let alone like a 21 year old so mm-hmm. props to you well you guys helped a in lot the midst that was my first question yeah. yeah how was it working so i wasn't around those days as we both in were this around, world were we? right yeah i was yeah. around well, she was, that i was with she was this. around but not that. around <laughs> you were on yeah. the bargain i wasn't now yeah, yeah. No, so you were specifically working with vince at the time yeah. what was the process like in general not specifically with vince but like the home search process for you um yeah yeah, it was super sh- I mean it was stressful in the way of like the market was insane at the time like right. this was like was it during COVID yeah I think it was during COVID I think yeah which is few, it was yeah wild. it was it was like right in COVID but yeah like my it, it was just a lot going on yeah there was yeah. a lot it would be like listing it would get sold for like a hundred thousand dollars over when things were go wild. to a cash right. investor mm-hmm. i'm like how can i compete with this right i have my little ten thousand saved right. like yeah. what else am i supposed right. to do yeah, like right. so it was stressful in that way but it was fun to see the houses because i love design and yeah. i love yeah. to like see all of them so it was fun yeah. to tour them yeah um i remember my first immediate phone call with vince i was like super nervous because i didn't know what i was talking about my mom does um in like in insurance yeah. type of like that type of stuff yeah so I, she knows a lot about 
like real estate but not yeah. as a real industry so yeah so I, I was able to get some background but i was like so nervous i was gonna say the wrong thing or be embarrassing nah. or nah. something um so yeah vince was like the best though he was like so, so he was like i'm gonna simplify it to a very easy way for you for everyone to understand and i'm not yeah. saying you don't understand but for everyone i'm right. just gonna map it out mm -hmm. there was like a little questionnaire that i filled out it was all organized yep and still then do all that and then yeah and then i was on the database with all of these properties available and i would just surf like i was online yeah. shopping it was yeah. fun yeah. it is you yeah. literally just summarize what we say to everyone yeah. like we say it's like pinterest like you're just like yeah, scrolling yeah, through exactly. houses um and yeah, but you, you gotta have a vision you do you yeah. gotta have a vision. so you yeah. are very and this is something i want to talk about you are very different from and maybe you were at the time where people were more into this but like right now the people that are buying houses right now are like we keep saying the amazon prime generation mm -hmm. like they're over projects like diy like mm -hmm. the days of Don't like Chip and Joanna Gaines, and we're gonna knock down this wall, and this is gonna be so fun to renovate our kitchen. Mm -hmm. Those days are kind of done. Like people are over that. You okay. are the opposite. Mm -hmm. Like you wanted a project, mm -hmm. you wanted to do work. Tell mm -hmm. us about what you've done to your house, how how much you've changed it, because you've made a ton of changes. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I definitely put in a good amount of the money that I also profited from my sale right. mm -hmm. to then put towards renovations the towards yeah. the house. The house I wanted, the house I. Put an offer in before i got the house that i got was like a big house it was like way bigger than i needed it right. would have been a huge project it was old it yeah. was like it would have been a lot and right. that ended up, i was sold on it though but that didn't work out and i was For devastated but then the next house i looked at which is the one i have now it was way smaller than i thought i would have wanted i was like okay like there was certain things that i wasn't like obsessed with just off the gate but right. as i looked at it and as i like toured it and i just i love the location of it yeah i loved like it as a starter home i yeah. was going into it with the intention that it was a starter home right um, oh, should. and then i was like like, okay I can knock this wall down and make this a bigger bathroom I can knock right. this wall down and make this room a closet like yeah. mm -hmm. I started getting the ideas and I like the foundation of the layout like yep. the location had a nice backyard yep. it hit all the things I needed it to hit now if it was a different market I may have waited and found something like different that I could grow into a little more yeah. I'm definitely like maxed out of space right. at this space but I'm not gonna like I'll probably just rent it. Yeah, you'll have to buy another house. It's the like, perfect rental. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's literally the perfect rental. Like yeah. a single person, a young couple with no kids, even yeah. like a baby. Like it would yeah. be so perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you have to have a vision. Look on Pinterest. What have yeah. you done? You did the kitchen, right? I read it. I knocked a wall out on the kitchen. Um, made that like an open concept. You did a kind massive of. bathroom. Did a huge bathroom, standing tub, whole shebang. Uh, separate shower. Yeah, walk-in shower. Yeah. Um, did you turn a bedroom into a bathroom? Did you combine them? Yeah, I combined a bedroom and, and the, bathroom. the bathroom next right. to it. I made it like a big bathroom. I did a walk-in closet as a uh, bedroom and like opened it up so it like can walk through to the bedroom or whatever. Yeah. You made I, it yours. Yeah, I redid yeah. the whole basement. Was I like, just like cement? I like epoxied the floor myself and did yeah. like nice. all that. Now it's like an office. Right. So you get down and dirty with the repairs as well. Oh, yeah. you're yeah. doing it. Yeah. I do it I all. Love that. I do I it all. That. And I'll yeah. do it by myself. Yeah, right. that's me. You should see me. I'm like, like, if you're not <laughs> help, like, I'm like, Mac, oh, I already started. You yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm the I'm builder. Done. Yeah, she's a beast. <laughs> I'm halfway done. Then I get done. Yeah, I see your TikToks. I know we're one in the same. I know. Like, except Home Depot trips. I have like a I hate it. I, I hate I it. I will Don't. do anything to not go to Home Depot. Because nobody takes you serious. <laughs> me neither. You can, you can be like, I need uh, this bit for this whatever. And they look at me like I have five right. cuts. They're like, are you sure how you know do you how know? to do that? Yeah. No, my thing is we do a home project like, and we go please. to Home Depot. And I like this. Matt, time. what do we need? We're doing the bathroom. What do we need? Well, I just have it in my head. Right. Oh. We pull up in the driveway and he goes, Oh, oh, we I forgot. forgot that. That's a quarter inch. Did to do it. I'm like, I'm not going back. Oh my gosh, I'm not yeah. going back. Yeah, no. So, so you're like, I'll just do it myself next time, and everything. Yeah, will. well, give me a list, and I'll go. Yeah, I'll, I'll exactly. make sure we get everything. Exactly. So it's do you? He just likes so to drive doing, around the car. Doing, right. He loves He's hanging out. Hang out. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so all the projects you've done between the office, your house, like, what advice do you have for somebody? Oh, handsome Jay is looking for the babies. <laughs> um, what advice do you have for somebody that, like like I said, this generation is the Amazon Prime generation. They want it ready. They want mm -hmm. to move in. They want it done. Mm -hmm. We're trying to pivot a lot of our buyers of, like, just get on base. Like, just get yeah. a house because it's only going to be harder and harder and harder to right. get a house. Yeah. So what advice do you have for somebody that is looking at a project or, like, you know, could consider a project considering how much, how many projects you've done? Yeah. Um, like would I recommend them to like like how would I go about doing the project is that what you're saying kind or of or like how do you just like change your mindset like 
Like, okay. how do we tell these buyers that like it's okay to buy a house? So we work. It's okay to like settle in certain areas. And, yeah. And, so like, a little bit about what she's saying is like we work off the eighty ten ten rule. So yeah, like okay, we're gonna help perfect. you find a house that meets eighty percent of your needs in one. Got it. Ten percent of it being cosmetic updates. So mm-hmm. like here's a beautiful kitchen layout. You can fix that, but you can fix it in two years. You yeah, have to fix yeah, it today. Yeah, yeah. Let's right. make some money. This or is just like paint and carpet. Yeah, and then ten okay, percent of it yeah. being um yeah, stuff you're willing to like leave. Yeah, just like two car garage, one car garage. But like how to open their mind and say like. Okay. You can do it and it's okay. And, and it especially if they're right like now. on a budget right. or yeah, something yeah. like First that. Yeah. Buyers. Like you said, we have ten thousand dollars maybe. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. I would say you fi- make a list of everything that you want to do and then list it of priority versus what There's you want to do in the future. So right. Rank it. Do it on your phone so you can easily like move the ranking yeah. or whatever. Um, make a budget for each project. Not even necessarily a budget that you want to spend, but a realistic expense list of like what yes. it's actually going to cost right. you and then go from there off of like, okay, what's my budget within that? Right. Um worry about like the structural stuff right the scary stuff later down the line because that's really expensive that's where it gets expensive right make sure the electrical is good make sure all of the stuff that you like you know all of that type of stuff all the major things the roof the whatever make sure all of that stuff is good and you guys will help so much with that like you guys right. were I think Vince came to the inspection yeah we like, do we yeah. get our it's inspections like, yeah. 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 yeah you guys, you guys we well, take care well, of everything we try to slip in yeah, yeah we try to um, but yeah just make sure that stuff and then yeah just rank a list of like what you would want to do ideally first and then kind of work your way to it um but you got to be organized in order to do that so right, it's true really and make it, a list and i made powerpoints sorry to interrupt yeah, you but no, i mean I, I'm interrupting you. I had powerpoints for like houses i didn't even offer on it you of, like, like she's already in there literally yeah. of like i would like put a picture of the from the listing and then crop um and remove the background to all the furniture and like place it in the house for literally i have for, for like seven houses see right my problem now. is i would barely know how to use a computer <laughs> like i know how to use a computer but like i'm on excel pulling my credit reports to do my taxes i'm like <laughs> Mary Kate, how do I move this cell? Like, I feel like my dad. No, oh you're my god. Mary Kate goes compared to control all d- like delete, press two bunches like you're done. Yeah, it's but it like, takes me know. 15 minutes. Like, I don't I know just, what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. She just said, yeah, do it on Google your phone it. so you can move things. I don't know what you're doing. You can Google about. it or like watch TikTok. <laughs> I know TikTok, it's it's text message, TikTok like, is helpful for like learning how to do stuff like that. Like, see, watch I hope that I just I just want to call the professional or hire the professional. Like, can you some people that's better? Some people that's better for like I'll hire an entire interior designer. Or yeah, something, but yeah. like her brain. Yeah, so yes. if I was gonna Add say to a long list of well, things yeah. she's doing. I was gonna say I do I, I do that like on the side with like my some of my weekend time. I can do either virtual design projects for interior design, um, or in person. Hey, do you have a design Instagram? I mean, I don't. I haven't like promoted it. Right. People just have been finding it. I'm like, yeah, it gets it recommended. Suggested. That's right. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah, I'm not promoting it yet, but I do. It's gonna that's be like future. fully a side hustle. That'll like just be the it's just pure like hobby and joy. And like, that's something too. Like as you grow the other brands that like need you in person, that's a brand that doesn't need you in person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as that's you kind of like step more out of, of yes. this, as you kind of step out of the day to day at some point. As you grow, like at some point you will or be I in the day to clone myself, one or other. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know where we're you can do that. On it. We're working <laughs> we're on that. that out. Oh my gosh! I'll stay here and I'll send my clone to do all my show. Right. It's like that'd be nice. Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! Me. No, I just need one more of me because I hate choosing between the babies. Yes, you babies. Oh like, yeah, what, that's they're a both whole crying. other problem. Like I called Cole in a panic day. I know. I was just I got like, jealous. I well, I need to keep you salty if I call you. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna call Cole. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, I just it's so hard choosing which baby needs you more when they both need mm-hmm. you. So that's what I need to be cloned for. Yeah, that's hard. And then a third would be nice to like give Vince attention because I never have time for him. <laughs> I meant third like, baby. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no. A third me. A third me. <laughs> yeah, because I basically about. have three babies. Yeah. He's my yes. third. Yes. <laughs> but okay, cool. So what like what would you like to leave us with like? Well, hold on, I got one more question. Oh, let's, on here. oh yes, okay, one more second. Right. Forgot the whole segment. Oh, this, no, one Jay's this, one, this one's me. So beauty Ask advice. Away. So I don't use any skincare routine. Sometimes I wash my face with like Max body wash and like how that probably scares you. But like I don't my whole use body just yeah, I saw you tweak it. Yeah, like <laughs> no, I like his body scrub no I'll use in my face. Like yeah. I'm just like, oh, this will scrub and feel really good. I don't have sensitive skin. I don't break out that much. Like maybe when I get my period or whatever, I break out a little bit. But like, yeah. 
what would you recommend? Where do you start? Like, I know it's how expensive, but like, how do you talk to like a newbie who knows nothing? And me too. And, like, I'm a, I'm right I've been using you. the same makeup brushes I've had since middle school. Okay. How does that make you feel? Ironically, the people that say that the most always have great skin. That's like very like funny skin, that way. Yeah. Right. Um, but I will say that type of stuff. I'm not trying to scare you, but we'll catch up with you if you don't yeah. get on top no, of it. No, this is what I need to hear We're about. at those ages where it's, like, very important to get into your skincare if you haven't already. That's why you're um, here. Yeah, <laughs> so my first advice always, and no judgment on what you're using yeah. now, I feel like a lot of people reserve that when they're talking to professionals because they're, like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're like, oh, oh I don't lie. use makeup wipes. I'm like, okay, well, it's okay if you do. I'm just going to... My job is to educate you on like what's better option right. other than doing that or an alternative for you to so use. So I use makeup wipes. Yeah, so like there's my first recommendation for everyone is come get a facial from a professional mm -hmm. esthetician, um, someone that knows what they're doing mm -hmm. and um, also has a good background, like look into their client, you know, portfolio yes. and their credentials, make sure they're licensed, all that good stuff. But um, if you have an issue especially, like if you have, if you deal with PCOS, mm -hmm. cystic acne, mm -hmm. like any type of specific issue, then I would say go to like a specialized esthetician or right. dermatologist or cosmetologist mm -hmm. that works in that area. But for everyone that's a beginner, come get a professional facial. If you have a good esthetician, they'll walk you through that. They'll use products during the facial that may work for your skin. Mm -hmm. And then their job afterwards is to tell you like what products they would recommend for you. So typically I would say if it, if it were me, come in for a facial. Yeah. We'll talk through what you're using now. Maybe give you a, I, we might start small. Usually I start with people that are beginners. I'll start with like two or three really good products, a good cleanser, a good exfoliant, right, a good moisturizer. Right, someone like us, we just you're won't do it. You're not going to do anything. Well, and we'll it's do expensive. Yeah, if you say buy and this product expensive. and that product and right. this Yeah, I'm not like, going to give you a 10-step skincare routine right. because oh, I know you're not going to do it. The couple facials, I got a facial at like Joseph Anthony one time and yeah. she literally gave me a card with like yeah. nine items and I'm like, first Man, of all, they're all Joseph Anthony products. Yeah. So it felt salesy because it's like all yeah. their stuff. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, you just want me to buy all your yeah. stuff. And then I'm just like, I look at that and I'm like, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't no. Really I only recommend stuff to people that I know is going to work for them because what happens if I recommend something and then they it use it and then they're like, oh, no, I didn't even like that. They're not going to yeah. buy it again. You right. won't repeat customers that are actually getting a difference yeah. and they're not going to keep getting services if they don't see a right. difference. Like, right. yeah. So I only ever recommend things and if I don't carry it, I try to carry everything that I personally use and I personally recommend. But if I don't, I'm, I don't care if I make a commission off of it. I want your skin to be, be yeah. like, right. as beautiful as possible. So yeah come in for a facial um talk to your esthetician or a dermatologist or someone that can give you a specific routine start slow don't mm -hmm. invest in 10 products at yeah. once don't think the higher price the product the better quality because in i'll tell you right now the beauty industry is a lot of sham uh, most of the same companies that most of the same companies are owned by this one like a one person company, yeah, right? and then they like l'oreal yes. johnson and johnson like yes. they're all linked so yeah don't get uh, caught too, up in the brand. Don't get too caught up in brands. Look for ingredients. That's the number one thing. Okay, if you that can, was my next thing because I know like they can have some terrible things. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. You want to invest in your education of ingredients and like knowledge of like okay, this is good. Especially when you have kids, you want to know like what to use on them, what not to use on yeah. them. Um, so I'm an ingredient girl. I'm not a brand per se. Mm -hmm. A lot of brands are more reputable than others, mm -hmm. but I'm cool with mixing it up. Um, so yeah, I always just recommend. Talking to a professional. Like, what are the top? We like, the when I thing. wash my face, like I should just wash it with a wash and exfoliate. Yeah, so it depends and honestly like on your skin type. Like yeah. everyone's gonna have a totally different skin routine. Thing. Yeah. Some people, a lot of people, double cleanse. They use an oil cleanser first, and then a targeted <gasps> cleanser. Yeah. Some people just use, you know, one cleanser. Some people just use makeup wipes. Like, there's some things that are ethically not as correct. Like, yeah. or not ethically, I guess scientifically I mean, not yeah. as correct. Um. But you gotta find what works for you, and that's why I think it's best to have a relationship with a professional that yeah. you can bounce back and forth and say, "Oh, I use this new product, and I got a breakout in this area. What could that mean?" Mm -hmm. And your esthetician will be able to come back and say, "This means X Y Z." Yep. X Y Z. You have an explanation. Right. Whatever. Let's go get facials. Easy. And then we'll figure. I'm out. due for one back. Yeah. Let's go. Oh All right, my gosh. On. I just yeah, need we'll to like there. turn my brain off. Come on. Yep. 
but yeah, good. don't don't stress yourself out. Don't worry about it's, costs it's too much. It's stressful to show like us. Like, oh yeah, I'm so like Not I'm so that, green to all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, but think about when you have a good product that you actually love, the way it makes your skin feel, and you see a difference. Right. Yeah. Why you're gonna you buy it. You're again? gonna be like, oh my god, I can't wait to wash my face next. Right. I know my skin's gonna feel so good. Right. Yeah. Like I'm in love with the routine aspect of it because I'm like I want to feel that baby smooth. Yeah. Skin on my face because it makes me feel good. It right. makes me feel like I. When I want to take TikTok of something, it's like squirt, 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 squirt. And all the like ASMR, and I'm like, you just put 15 things on yeah, your face. That's I don't not have How did you In know my, that's what not order? Necessary. How did you, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, like. Yeah. What? And they're one with ones with a wipe, ones with a brush, ones with the hands. I'm like, they're just doing that for like added effect. Okay, That's not yeah, necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't take your recommendations from TikTok. Everyone's skin is so different. I see right. a lot of people use the completely wrong product that damages their skin even more because of a TikTok recommendation. Um, don't Go listen to, to it. I see. That's it. what we say the same yeah. thing. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't listen. And like, back there's to some good stuff. Yeah. But. Yeah. Hire the professional. Yeah. The professional. Yeah. We say it all the time. We yeah. say it all the time yeah. with everything. Like it is worth every penny. Hundred percent. I mean, there's a reason. Someone. Like we had to go to school for this. The, we had to, you know, there's a reason yeah. behind it. We're not just saying that. Yeah. Because we get money out of it. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. Now we're the same. Okay. So what do you want to <laughs> leave us with? Like, what's like your main plug? Like, what are you pushing right now? Okay. Um, okay, a few things. One, check out Endless Wags DE on Instagram. Yes, are you allowed to announce this? Uh, yeah, I've so, seen you post it, but yeah. I don't want to like blow up your spot today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are opening um, so tell us what you're, yeah, around what December is. 1st. We're shooting and for it, so about one more month. This is a pet cafe and boutique. Um, In Greenville. Yes, in Greenville, right next to the post office. So right my office. dad is a veterinarian. Like I said, he's moving his Greenville office into that location as well. So it's going to be half veterinary office, half pet boutique and cafe. Um, it is going to be super cute. We have three dog washing stations, so you can bring your doggies it's there awesome. to wash them. We have amazing selection of all nice. Hey, that's what I'm saying. She's just like got so much going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All vet approved food, all vet approved products. It's awesome. Amazing toys. I'm doing the buying, so you know the toys are super cute. Um, good it's quality. literally everything yeah. you could ever want yeah. for your dog. Pet cafe. Like, um, so is it a cafe for me or for the dogs? For the dogs. So pet bakery, all okay, natural, okay. organic food, safe, yeah. healthy. I am pumped. Good. They can get yeah. little puppuccinos, all oh, that good Perfect. Stuff. Endless wax. Um, and then Decorsi Beauty, shop my products online. Anyone that wants a uh, professional lash extension products, any estheticians, feel free to check that out. And then for the consumer end of it, brow products on there. There's some other cute products that you can shop, but there's a lot of new stuff coming Swag. soon. Swag on there. Yes, and then Decorsi shirt. Beauty Lounge, if you're in Delaware, um, check us out. We do facials, lashes. I have estheticians that do body waxing, um, natural nails. All that good stuff. I have an amazing team of girls too. If anyone ever wants to come check them out too, they yeah. do amazing work. And Only best. um oh check out my podcast, SD Besties Podcast. Yes, Woo! yes. Um yeah, that's about it. I feel like I'm well, probably forgetting something, but thank you so much. Thank you guys for having You're me. The best. So fun. Yay. This is my first other people's podcast. Yay! Yay. You crushed it. Thank you. Thank well, you. Thanks thank for coming. You. I'll be back. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>